nice to meet you, 2021 in the Lights Champion. Yep. That's wonderful, great. Um, You've had your big dreams. What should the world know about? <laughs> yeah, so um, one thing that, that the world doesn't know about me is I don't come from much of a racing background at all. My whole family was uh, was never part of racing, and we I started off as a young driver in karting, kind of just as a hobby. Um, and it grew into something much bigger than that, obviously. So in about 2012, I realized that this could actually become a career, and I started in karting back in 2003. So there's a long time, a long period where it was just for fun to me, and my family had nothing to do with it. What do you like about these sports in St. Pete, and what worries do you have? So, hopefully no worries, um, but anything can always change. But one thing I really like about this course is just the dynamics of it. It's very unique in the sense that it's a bit like a road course coming on to the front straight where you're on a runway and it's very wide, very open, promotes a lot of passing. Um, and then you go into the downtown St. Petersburg area where it's all tight and twisty and a lot of big break zones. Um, and it's not, not very easy to pass at all. So you have a bit of both worlds where you have high speed sections into a corner where it's just like a road course and there's big runoffs, the wall's not too close, and then you're up against the wall everywhere back in St. Pete. So I really like that portion of it. And then also, as you can see right behind us, we're coming down Dan Weldon Way right here. This will be the part of the racetrack just behind the camera, behind the gu where you guys can't see. And uh, we have the water right here. There'll be a ton of boats that are lined up right here. They're watching it like the Monaco Grand Prix. And um, But I might be a little bit biased. I'm from Florida. It's a quick drive for me over from Jupiter, Florida, about three hours. And um, yeah, so it's a, it's a home race for me and I really enjoy it. Uh, let's talk about uh, a little bit about the car seat. It gets really hot, isn't it, sometimes when you're driving, but they, uh, uh, they improve. Yes. How do you feel about that? Yeah, so that has been a something that IndyCar has done a really good job managing. With the new aero screen that's around that is around the driver, we don't have the airflow that we used to when it was an open wheel car. Um, well, sorry, when it's still an open wheel car, but an open cockpit car. Um, so they've had to make improvements and changes to the nose of the car, to around the windscreen, to allow the air to flow through the cockpit. Most of us drivers now have cool suits where it's a suit that's connected to a cooling system and it runs cold water up and down the shirt of the driver, uh, which has helped tremendously because last year, I'm sure you probably saw, most of the drivers didn't have that. Um, and it was very, very hot. The race didn't start at the usual time that it would have um, in previous years. And this year in, in late February should be a little bit cooler. It's really only bad when you get over about um, 80 degrees ambient temperature. Then the car gets very hot inside of it, but otherwise, IndyCar has done a fantastic job making sure the car is safe um, and cool enough for us to drive in. I love that. I love the information about it because it's uh, very important uh, the safety of, of the drivers, no the ra uh, racers. You know, um, you are a surfer. Mm -hmm. How fast are you when you surf? <laughs> well, if you're going down a wave, maybe 15 to 18 miles per hour, it's a lot slower than uh, than what we're doing here on the racetrack. <laughs> that, it helps you so the, for the race? I would say yes in the aspect that, that it's very physical. Um, paddling, swimming is probably one of the best exercises I think that you can do. Um, and I enjoy surfing, so I'll go and surf for three hours and be absolutely beat tired but I'll have fun doing it and not really realize how physical it can actually be. So it's a, it's a nice, uh, it's more of a getaway thing for me. Um, when, I get, when I get away from the track, I like to be out in the water, fishing, diving, surfing, um, and I can use it as an exercise as well. Uh, I'm sure you have a lot of fans already. Would you like to tell them a few words? Yeah, of course. Uh, to all my fans, make sure you guys watch here at St. Petersburg Grand Prix. I think you get your tickets on gpstpete.com. Um, it's gonna be phenomenal race. This is gonna be my first ever IndyCar race. And I've obviously driven here in the past. I've done three events in USF 2000, Indy Pro 2000, and Indy Lights. I won here last year in Indy Lights, and then won the championship. So this will be my fourth weekend racing around the streets of St. Petersburg. It's a local race for me. Make sure you guys come out and watch this race because it's gonna be a phenomenal one. Thank you and good luck. It was my pleasure.